MGBA has been working on and, you know, developing con connectivity to the Dolphin emulator for GameCube titles. So you can now use MGBA as your Game Boy emulator, which is not one I've used much. I've always been a Visual Boy Advance guy, but there's a lot of newer ones now that, like MGBA, that are doing cool stuff. They now have four-player split-screen Game Boy Advance connectivity to the GameCube with this emulator. And we're reaching a point with some of these emulators where they have, you know, so much of the functionality kind of replicated here, just like this, um, that we can start to actually replace some specific consoles with emulators. Now, they're, it's still not going to be accurate. It's still not going to be perfect. It's still not going to run things as perfectly as possible. But to replace this kind of functionality, which is much harder to do, because to think about it this way, to have two or four players split screen Game Boy playing with the GameCube game, you need the GameCube, you need your GameCube game, you need the controllers or whatever, and then you need the individual Game Boys, and in some cases, the individual Game Boy games with all of those Game Boys to do this kind of split screen, you know, collab gaming thing. Eventually, there's so many points of failure here for the hardware and for the games that being able to have this as a way to play keeps these games alive and keeps these experiences possible, especially as so many of these emulators are adding in online play capability. Um, and trying to get net play going and things like that. I am really excited to see this future.